poor, flat-footed, gentle-hearted, inept Mike Johnson. He's a servant of the Lord Jesus, and in that way, I want him to succeed. I do pray protection upon him. Wait, no, I don't. No, that's, that's not true. I've never done that. I should do that. I should pray protection upon Mike Johnson. Lord, please protect Mike Johnson. Sorry for lying. Unintentional. I was thinking, I should do that, but I hadn't. Mike Johnson needs help. Everybody knew the Hunter Biden trial was going on. Everybody knew there was going to be a decision. Everybody could have been prepared for this exact question that Mike Johnson got from CNN's chief congressional correspondent, Manu Raju. That's a cool name. That's cool. I wish if people came to me and said, what's your name? I could go, Manu Raju. It rhymes, isn't it? Manu Raju. Instead, my name is a sound. It's an utterance. It's like something you'd say on accident, like if it hurts your hip. Tot! Here's Manu Raju asking this to Speaker Johnson and what Mike Johnson should have been able to say on the spot. I had an opportunity. I've been in meetings all morning. So I but, 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 all I know is that he was found guilty, but I think that's appropriate. And Mr. You Speaker, you said this is contempt of Congress. Do you have the votes for uh, America Island tomorrow? We'll be making the timing decision later this afternoon. But, but Mr. Speaker, you've been saying, you've been saying. Uh, I'm not sure about that case. But Mr. Speaker, you have been saying two-tier system of justice for some time. Here's the president's son being convicted on three counts. Doesn't that undercut your claims? It doesn't. Every case is, uh, is different, and clearly the evidence was overwhelming here. I don't think that's the case in, in the Trump trials, and all the uh, charges that have been brought against him have been obviously brought for political purposes. Hunter Biden is a separate instance. This is going to win the congressional baseball game tomorrow. Ha, ha, congressional baseball game. No, Mike, it goes like this. You stop and you say, the Department of Justice had seven years to bring these charges. They have allowed the most serious charges to expire. They let the statute of limitations apply on purpose. The Department of Justice in that same laptop that they now admit was Hunter Biden's, did nothing to go after government officials who told the American people it was Russian disinformation, active and retired. That's election meddling. On that same laptop, Hunter Biden is seen overseas with cocaine. On a trip, he took on Air Force Two. It is a federal felony to take narcotics on Air Force Two on that laptop. The photos of Hunter Biden apparently naked with girls, at least people who appear to be girls, women, below the age of consent. He's seen multiple times engaging in sex trafficking, trying to pay off a woman who is apparently a Russian woman who'd been sex trafficked, trying to get her to say on film that he never forced her to do anything she didn't want to do. That hasn't been charged. Hunter Biden is recorded threatening people in China. If they don't pony up with money, they're not going to have access to his dad. Hunter Biden was paying his dad's satellite phone bill. Why? He was the vice president. He contacted his dad to arrange business meetings on fake email addresses that Joe Biden had set up on government servers with fake names. They arranged meetings for Hunter's business partners to be with him. On behalf of Hunter, Joe Biden bragged about getting a Ukrainian prosecutor fired. None of this has been brought to trial. And in seven years, the DOJ could manage after they let the most serious of these felonies expire with the statute of limitations, they bring this to the table, a gun violation. This proves our point that there's a two-tiered system of justice. It's proven further when you compare their treatment of Joe Biden, a senator, stealing classified documents he never had the ability to declassify versus President Trump, whose claim is he did declassify them. This proves our point. Thank you for asking the question. That's 
how Mike Johnson should have been prepared to handle that. 